We here at 7 Eyewitness News want to guide you through the many challenges of this pandemic with the Rebound Buffalo. It's our commitment to helping you get back to work, make ends meet, manage the pressure, and ensure people in power are doing what's right. One criteria for reopening here in Western New York is having enough contact tracing. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Proya has more on how Erie County health officials are addressing that problem. It starts with a nasal swab. And if test is positive, then they are an index case. That's how contact tracing begins with an initial COVID-19 diagnosis. And then they ask who are their, the, for the names and contact information of their close contacts. So here's how it works. Erie County Health Commissioner Dr. Gail Burstein says once an index case of the virus is confirmed, the health department finds out who that person has been in contact with. The contact tracer will reach out to people who meet a certain criteria. The people who are contacted have to have spent at least 15 minutes with the COVID positive person within two days of the onset of their symptoms or positive test result. They also have to have been within six feet of the COVID positive person, especially if not wearing a mask. We will inform them that they need to be in quarantine and we'll explain to them what quarantine is and we'll explain how they can be released from quarantine and then we'll also strongly encourage them to get tested. So in order to make that entire process happen, exactly how many contact tracers does Erie County need? We have a, a little army of contact tracers and that army can expand or shrink uh, depending on the number of cases that we receive each day. That army is made up of current Erie County employees. As for how many of them, the governor requires 30 contact tracers per 100,000 population. Erie County's population is about 920,000. That means there's about 270 contact tracers in Erie County. The less social distancing that we have in our community, the uh, more we all are at risk of getting infected with COVID-19. This entire process becomes far are more complicated if people do not continue to social distance. We are likely to see an increase of cases that would end up resulting in um, an increase of burden on our contact tracers. And we, again, we need to expand that body of contact tracers. That's why Dr. Burstein says social distancing is key to fighting the coronavirus pandemic. In Buffalo, Olivia Proya, 7 Eyewitness News.